Good evening, family. Um, I keep getting phone calls and texts and emails asking about an update. The update at this very moment is there is no update, right? I want to ask you guys to continue to pray for India. I want to continue to ask you guys to continue to share India's post. I want to ask you guys to continue to look out and see if you see her, right? I also want to say thank you to every person that has shared her purse, her post, I'm sorry. Thank you to every person that has prayed for us and more specifically for her. Thank you to every person who has continued to reach out to offer assistance or to be of assistance in any way. Y'all hold on one second, I'm sorry. Hold on. I listen, I, I don't necessarily I, I just I need just a couple of people to stand in agreement with me. So the one thing that we did confirm is India was not kidnapped. India did run away and she ran on her own recognizance, okay? And, you know, I've had people say, well, you know, children, they grown now. They be smelling they sales. Or, uh, you can't tell this generation nothing. Y'all, sometimes it ain't what we tell them, right? Sometimes it's what we give them, okay? And what I mean by that is, a lot of times it's easy for, because the word of God says life and death is in the power of the tongue. It's easy for us to speak negativity over their lives, right? So we're giving them that, those seeds. We're planting those seeds. It's easy for us to look at stuff in the carnal. But the word of God says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness, okay, in high places. Y'all, so even in this, my 17 year old ran away right and i would be lying if i said that my feelings weren't hurt today makes eight days i would be lying if i said i was not worried i would be lying if i said to you that i was not angry but the one thing I recognize is sometimes when you've done everything you can do, especially when it comes to our children, right? Because the mistakes that the mistake that we make is we think, oh, these are our children. They don't belong to us. They belong to God. God gave them to us as gifts, but they don't belong to us. They belong to him. So when you've done everything that you know how to do, the best thing that you will ever do for them is to continue to pray for them. So before I close my eyes, I'm going to pray for my child. And I'm going to ask God to meet her right where she is. And I'm going to ask God to continue to minister to her spirit. I'm going to ask God that every outside negative influence that is against his will for India's life, that he remove it in the name of Jesus. I pray right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would allow your anointing to saturate into your spirit, Lord God. And Father God, I pray right now, oh God, that as your anointing saturates her spirit, Heavenly Father, that you show yourself to her, Lord God. Reveal yourself to India, O oh God, and cause India to bow down before you and cry out, O oh God. Father God, allow her to cry out to you, O oh God. And Father God, as you're sitting before her, Lord God, begin to minister to her spirit, O oh God. And Father God, begin to touch her heart, O oh God. Father God, allow her to have a mind and a desire.
to come back home, Heavenly Father. Every tongue that is spoken against in you, oh God, I bind it up right now in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. Every demonic spirit, Lord God, every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of warlock, oh God. Father God, every spirit of adversity, Lord God, every oppositional spirit that will come against your word and that will come against your will for and your plan and your purpose for India Renaya Vance's life, Father God, I decree and I I declare, Lord God, that you'll cast it back to the pits of hell from which it came, Lord God, never to return again, Heavenly Father. Father God, I bind up every stronghold, Lord God. I decree and I declare in the spirit that every yoke is destroyed, Heavenly Father. Father God, I decree in the name of the living God, Heavenly Father. Abba, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that every spirit of mental bondage will break, Heavenly Father. Father God, as you begin to minister to India's spirit, repubate her mind, oh God. As you begin, Lord God, to penetrate India's spirit, oh God, and repubate her mind, allow her thoughts, Lord God, to be your thoughts, Heavenly Father, and allow her vision to align with your vision for her life, Father God, so that she can see past, Lord God, the here and now. I bind up the spirit of impostivity, oh God. I bind up the spirit of every negative influence, oh God. Father God, I bind up every spirit that would exalt itself above you and I cast down every imagination, Lord God, that is unlike you, Heavenly Father, that is causing India to stay hidden, oh God. Father God, as you reveal yourself to her, Lord God, allow her to sit before you in your throne of grace, oh God. And Father God, as you begin to minister to her and as you continue to minister to her, Lord God, guide her footsteps, Father God, for your word says that the steps of a righteous man is order. So Father God, order her footsteps, oh God, and cause her to do a U-turn, Heavenly Father. Cause her to be redirected back home, Heavenly Father. And even as she come back home, Father God, cause her to have a do-right mind, Lord God. Father God, cause her to want to be here, Heavenly Father. And Father God, every person that has enticed her with lies, Lord God. Every person, Lord God, that has caused her, Lord God, to miss her mark in you in this time and in this season, Lord God. I decree and I declare, Lord God, that you give her a spirit of discernment and you will allow her to see clearly, Lord God, just who they are and just whom is influencing them, oh God. And Father God, as she see it, Lord God, begin to close the door on those people and begin, Lord God, to cause them to no longer speak to India, Heavenly Father, so that she is no longer distracted by those influences, Heavenly Father. Father God, in her rest and in her slumber, minister to her, Lord God. And allow her spirit to be open to receive everything that you have to say. Father God, because we understand that our spirit never sleeps, Heavenly Father. So, Father God, allow her spirit to be open to receive your word and your wisdom and your knowledge, Heavenly Father. And even now, Heavenly Father, allow her to apply your word, your wisdom, and your knowledge, Heavenly Father. We pray for godly application, Heavenly Father. Father God... In your word, Lord God, you said, when I was a child, I thought as a child, Heavenly Father. So, Father God, change India's childish thoughts and allow her thoughts to be godly thoughts, Heavenly Father. Father God, I decree and I declare that India is a kingdom woman, Heavenly Father. And she has a kingdom ministry, Heavenly Father. And Father God, one thing I know about you, Heavenly Father, is that your word will not return unto you void, Heavenly Father. I understand whom you have called her to be, Lord God. And Father God, allow her to see just who you have called her to be. So Father God, allow her to understand. Your word says in all I get, get understanding. Father God, give her godly understanding. So that she'll know, Lord God, which way to go and which way to turn. And I ask these and many other blessings, Lord God, not just for my child or my children, not just for India, but for all of my children. And not just for my children, but Lord God, all the children, Lord God, that you, Lord God, have allowed to come, Lord God, into this world. Bless our youth. Save them, oh God. Give them a mind to want to be genuinely saved. Give them a mind to cry out unto you, Lord God. Father God, your word says, cry out and spare now in a loud, exuberant voice, Heavenly Father. So give the youth a mind to cry out unto you, Lord God, and give them do right spirits in the name of Jesus. Amen. Guys, 
I just want y'all to continue to pray for my baby. Guys, I want y'all to continue to lay her name, put her name on your prayer list. Continue to lay her name on the altar. Continue to ask God to just touch her. If you don't know how to pray, just say Jesus touch in the event. Right where she is. Y'all, and I just need, I don't need a whole host of people to stand in agreement with me. I just need one person to stand in agreement with me that India's going to show herself and she's going to come home in not many days. I needed to give y'all an update, but I just needed to pray for my baby and not just my baby, but other youth, Lord. Because my child didn't only child that's going through this. So I'm praying and asking God to just touch the youth, touch the runaways. And bring them back home safely and in a, in a with a sound mind and with godly wisdom and godly interference. Peace, love, and blessings to you all. I hope you all have a very blessed and wonderful night.